but both in, in opposition we have confirmed that we will now move to government to work with the government. Welcome back to PNG Trends Burner. Rainbow Pider's decision for the Our Party to rejoin the Marapiroso government is viewed by many as an immature political maneuver aimed at regaining favor with those in power. This perception stems from the timing and nature of the move, which seems less about genuine alignment with governmental policies and more about securing the benefits and influence that come with being a part of the ruling coalition. Critics argue that this opportunistic switch prioritizes personal and party advantages over stable and principled political engagement. This video unpacks his reasoning behind the move back to government. Given that the Marape Rosso government still is uh, the incredible support of uh, most of our members in government, we... 1. Rainbow Pider indicated that the benefits enjoyed by members of the Marape Rosso government motivated the Our Party to return, highlighting a pragmatic approach influenced by the advantages afforded to government MPs. 2. Pider expressed that the Our Party, with its 14 MPs, believes it can contribute more effectively from within the government rather than from the opposition, marking a reversal from their previous pursuit of alternative leadership. We felt that some of those strong convictions in the party that we have assembled now needs to contribute meaningfully. Meaning that if we stay where we are and um, speak on issues, the difference or the gulf of uh, what we see now it's just going to make everything, like law, public service, systems will come to halt because we continue to push the issue of VNC. Instantly. 3. Pida has voiced concerns about political instability, a shift from the party's earlier decision to break away, which initially suggested dissatisfaction with the Marapiroso government. 4. The Our Party intends to rely with the Marapiroso government, and while government MPs have welcomed their return, it is understood that they will not receive special treatment or concessions. The instability will continue to grow, and thus uh, a lot of these things will go unanswered and then we'll say it's because of politics. 5. Pida stated that despite their return to the Marapiroso government, the Our Party has no specific demands and aims to contribute to stability, reflecting a strategic move to offer support without preconditions. So as a team we met, and our last meeting was yesterday night, all of our leaders we sat together, and those leaders who are not here, we consulted them by means of a phone call and asking them their personal opinions. Two of our leaders, they had different opinions, few of our leaders had different opinions, but as a party, as a party of uh, collective minds coming together, we have, uh, we have come to one vision, and that vision is that. As of today, we, have, we are announcing as a party, as a political party of 14 members, and um, potentially two more who will join us, two or three others, two or three others who will join us, <coughs> but 14 in opposition, we have confirmed that we will now move to government to work with the government. Six. The primary reason the 12 MPs returned to the Marapiroso government was their aversion to remaining in the opposition and witnessing their counterparts enjoy the privileges associated with being part of the government. Rainbow Pida and his Our Party's announcement to rejoin the Marapiroso government highlights the nature of a group of leaders with similar opportunistic tendencies. While their public statements suggest a united front of 14 MPs, their body language and past actions reveal potential fractures and inconsistencies within the group. Now this decision might come as a shock to many who have been following us, who support us, support us not just for our party, but the individual members that occupy and sit uh, as, a, as a member in this party, maybe from Bogia, maybe from West Britain, maybe from Ambum Kombi and Minema. Those supporters, we ask them, to understand the position that we've reached, uh, that we feel that are strong, and we've been speaking out in opposition. We will hold our policies strong to our hearts, but at the same time, we will give stability to the government to address all these issues that are outstanding. Issues on law, the foreign ex, uh, forex issue, um, and the main issues that we continue to talk about as members in opposition. Now, we don't come with a certain shopping list to say, if we come to government, this is our shopping list, this is what we want to know. We come with no expectation. What we bring to the table is 14 incredible, 13 incredible men with one woman. We have strong conviction on issues and we offer to the government our support. And that we think that will bring stability to the government for them to make strong decisions now. Given that they have the full confidence of members in government to vote for them, and voted for them and members in opposition who didn't vote but are now 
trying to give a red vote to this meaningful movement back into government. So that will present to them the, uh, the ability to make free choices that they can do and not be bogged down with trying to uh, deal with politics and try to manage. Comment below what you think about Pida's recent move. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video.